What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, we're gonna be checking out an extremely strong team here for the Great League. Honestly, this team this team is kind of ridiculous, everyone. Outside of triple hard counter, and I mean something like um, maybe like a Metacham on the lead, a Charmer in the back, and a Sableye in the back, right? To just completely hard counter. If there's no triple hard counters, this team has so much play in the meta. Metacham and Sableye are just absolutely crazy strong. And I will suggest if you guys have a return Sableye, definitely use that. I don't have one, which is why I'm running with Power Gem. As well, my Metacham is not uh, XL. It's XL like it's level 41, basically. 41.5, I think. Um, but as you can see, the IV is 14, 14, 15. So... This team is absolutely deadly. Let me know what you guys think about this team and these battles. Be sure to smash that like button and let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, this team's this team's honestly ridiculous. It is so strong and rightfully so, right? Metachamp, Sable are extremely strong and so is Bastudon. But let's see what we do with Azumarill leads. What you guys want to do on Azumarill leads is go straight into Sableye. It's going to beg them to stay and absolutely beg them and this may be the only counter to metacham as well so what we want to do on this first one is go for power gem they're not going to shield the first one nine times out of ten they don't so you can land that power gem or the return right now what you want to be doing is shielding yourself you can take down this uh, azumarill um, or potentially get it extremely low um, with no shields basically so what we want to do now is build up the power gem and go for foul play just before they get to the charge move again you want to be counting the bubbles right here it's going to be six to play rough five to ice beam but you want to be shielding those play roughs right there so they are going to be throwing another charge move we're going to go ahead and shield ourselves and we're going to see if we can get two foul plays off so it's going to be another play rough so now we got to count there's one there's two three Four, this is going to be extremely close. We need three more Shadow Claws and they only need two more bubbles. Or I think maybe one more bubble. Um, so let's see, there's five. Yeah, they got to it just in time. I think this is actually Ice Beam right here, which will still take out the Sableye, but it's actually a play rough, which is fine. So maybe I miscounted a bubble during that match. But we can bring in the Metacham right now. I'm guessing they don't have a counter to it. But they do, they have a Talonflame. So things aren't over yet, but what's great about Talonflame right here... Um, is incinerate what's great for us is ta incinerate is such a long charge move or fast move that when we swap into Bastiodon, they're stuck in this animation and we just take down the talon flame and the final pokemon is going to be obstagoon right here which is perfectly fine stone edge is going to do a lot of neutral damage and medicam medicham can just come in and delete the obstacle right there so uh talon flame definitely a lot of fun to use but incinerate can be very very deadly um by getting stuck in a situation like that where i knew they were going to do another fast move i came in with bastion and they can't do anything they're stuck in there so now we can close this game out just fine with metacham right here um just a couple counters and it's going to be game over because of that dark normal typing so that will be a good battle, very well played. And we're going to be seeing a lot of lead losses today as well. I think it's very important to show those. All right. We have Galarian Stunfisk now on the lead. So what you guys want to do on this one, again, swap to Sableye. Sableye is our safe swap in this team. So we're going to go ahead and swap to it. They bring in a Skarmory. Now, if they bring in a Skarmory to Sableye, you guys can win this matchup. Go for that switch advantage right here. It's very, very important because you want to align Metacham to Galarian Stunfisk. So what you want to do is just be throwing these foul plays. They let it go through. And what I'm going to do is if they shield, I'll shield as well. And basically commit to the farm now. Shadow Claw, we can farm this Skarmory down from this health. So they decided to shield. They're building up to two sky attacks, which is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and double shield right here and then just commit to the farm down because I'll have energy on Sableye here and I'll have a Metacham aligned to Galarian Stunfist. So we're gonna go ahead and just double shield and then farm down. That's what's great with Bastion on lead, Sableye safe swap. They may bring in those flyers, whether that's Altaria or Skarmory, because they want to keep it away from Bastion on, but we can flip those matchups. All right, next Pokemon we have coming in is Azumarill. This now is extremely tough. They have Galarian Stunfisk and Azumarill. So I'm actually going to have to swap into Bastiodon right now to draw out the Galarian Stunfisk. Why? It's a loss, right? Well, I need Metacham with energy. And the best way to get that energy is going to be farming down a Galarian Stunfisk. So if your Bastiodon has pretty decent IVs, you can survive an Earthquake depending on how much health you have. That way we can get off a Flamethrower right here. What I'm hoping this actually does 
is chips away the health. I don't want them to shield, and we landed. That's perfect. That means Medicham now can come in and hard farm. We're going to have to tank an Earthquake. It's going to hurt, but we need energy on Medicham to be able to land um, to, or basically land a Psychic versus a Zoomeral. So we're just going to go ahead and just commit to the farm down. Don't throw any charge moves. Earthquake is going to be coming through, but Metacham can tank in, especially if you have XL Metacham, it's just even deadlier. So we're just going to commit to that hard farm, and then when Azumarill comes back in, notice how much energy we have. We're going to go ahead and throw a Psychic right here. This should be getting a shield from the Azumarill, um, and then now we're going to have to swap into Sableye um, and hope to catch a charge move right here. So we're going to swap into Sableye. We're going to go for the foul play right here. They really can't. They could try to commit to the farm down, but they do have a bit of excess energy. So I imagine we just CMP tied right there. So we get the foul play, and we did perfect. This is probably going to be an Ice Beam that takes us out, and Azumarill is going to be pretty close to another charge move but it is within Psychic range right now and two more counters and we get to the Psychic and that is going to be a good battle, very well played. I'm telling you guys right now, Metacham and XL Metacham, Metacham just gets better if you can put XL candy into it like I'm slowly doing into mine. All right, moving to this next battle, we have Bastidon versus Diggers B. Again, another tough loss. We go straight into the Sableye right here and they bring in a Pelipper. This is where you can be sneaky. You can be sneaky if you have Power Gem. Foul Play is still a great call. You guys can go for that if you have Return. But Power Gem right here does super effective damage. Boom! Nearly takes out the Pelipper. And they don't have enough energy for a Hurricane. So we're going to go ahead and let this go through because it's just going to be a Weather Ball. It hurts, but it's fine. We just won Switch Advantage. That way we can have Metacham into Diggersby. Now we want to be spamming these Foul Plays right here. And they're going to have to throw a Fire Punch. Remember, Diggersby has access to um, Mudshot as a Fast Move, Fire Punch, Earthquake, um, Hyper Beam as well, so it's likely running with Earthquake and Fire Punch, which is going to be important here towards the end. You guys are going to see why. Fire Punch is going to take us out, and we can bring in the Metacham right away to get as many counters off as we can. Now, I don't know what's in the back, but I can survive an Earthquake if they decide to throw it. That'll be fine with me. So I'm going to go ahead and let that go, and it's going to be a Shadow Hypno in the back which is a really good matchup for Bastiodon, especially if they don't have Focus Blast. We just do so much damage while resisting Confusion. But they're building up a lot of energy right here, and obviously, I don't want to get caught with my pants down with a two shield Focus Blast to the face, so I'm going to be shielding these charge moves. I'm going to go ahead and shield. This is so much energy on the Shadow Hypno that their only win condition is to land it, and it was a Focus Blast right there, which is fine. We can now farm down. Now, coming up right here, I make a mistake. Um, basically, right, our Stone Edge is going to be resisted. So you guys want to throw Flamethrower right there. But either way, we're getting a shield right here. Diggersby has two shields. They, there's no way they let this go through. So they do shield. Now, this is where I said the Fire Punch Earthquake comes in crucial. We're not swapping out to Metacham. They have to throw an Earthquake right here, which means they're going to drain all of their energy. Um, Fire Punch would not take us out. So it is an Earthquake. That's perfect. We can bring in our Metacham right now and just counter down and safely shield this next charge move. No matter what it is, they cannot get to two Earthquakes and Fire Punch won't be enough damage to take us out. So we shield the Fire Punch and farm down and that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. This team, I'm telling you guys, is so strong. Oh my goodness, it's ridiculously strong. And it's even stronger when you win lead, right? So we have Bastion on the lead versus Defense Form Deoxys. Another lead loss. We're going to go ahead and go into the Sableye right away. Start chipping away some health. And they're deciding to stay in a bit too long, but they bring in Azumarill right here. So things are not over. Defense Form Deoxys still does well against Metacham and Bastiodon, but it can't take down both. And what's important here um, is to see if we can actually take out this Azumarill or get it extremely, extremely low. So Charge Move now coming through. I'm debating not shielding. I decided to shield. It is a play rough, so that's a good call right there. If it would have been Ice Beam, that would have been better for us. Um, if we didn't shield, but obviously we want to shield those play roughs. So we're going to go ahead and start going for foul plays. Just like earlier, when you land that power gem or you land that return towards the end, you can throw these foul plays. But they decided not to shield, so I'm going to go ahead and go for another foul play right away. I either want to get the shield, um, so that way I can farm down. So we do shield, and now I'm going to go ahead and commit this shield myself because I can farm down this Azumarill, right? 
So we're gonna go ahead and shield that play rough. They let the foul play go through. They're gonna give up switch advantage. I'll take that. They'll take shield advantage. That's fine with me. We are gonna see an Umbreon come in. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into Metacham right here. This is gonna force that defense form Deoxys out. What's great is Bastiodon. I could have brought in Bastiodon, um, but Bastiodon does much better against Umbreon endgame because it's so bulky. That way I draw out this defense form Deoxys, which is the counter to a Bastion with Metacham. Um, we're basically doing lots of neutral damage to each other with Ice Punch and Thunder Punch while both resisting counters because we are both part Psychic typing. So Ice Punch right here. Again, this is why I like running with Ice Punch and Psychic. It's such a strong combination. Um, you can handle Flyers, Grass, Fighters. I mean, everything. It's great. So Charge Moon now coming through. It is going to be that Thunderbolt, which barely doesn't take us out. So hopefully we can get to another Ice Punch in time. We cannot. Now, I saved that Sableye, and it has a Foul Play. So I should be getting a Shield right here. Otherwise, it's basically going to be game over. So we're going to go ahead and throw this Foul Play. We don't get a Shield that's game over. We're going to go ahead and bring in the Bastion into the Umbreon. You guys are going to see why. Um, Bastion is an absolute tank. Same with Umbreon. Umbreon is a tank as well, which means it's not going to do too much damage with foul play. That tickles right there, everyone. Absolutely tickles. And we're just going to be pressuring here with Smackdown. It's such a strong move. Even though it's not doing too much damage, it really starts to add up. And we can just go for Stone Edges right here. Um, both will do neutral, Stone Edge and Flamethrower. But Stone Edge is same type attack bonus because of the rock typing on Bastion. So you want to go for that because it's going to be hitting harder. Um, so again, we don't need to be worried about these foul plays we have no shields anyways but this is basically going to be a good game and towards the end right here i'm gonna swap into sableye to force them to use their energy because umbreon does have an opportunity to take us down so i'm going to go ahead and go for this stone edge and then i'm going to swap into sableye if i get to a charge move i should be able to take it out and they're going to have to throw their energy so we go ahead and swap now, or actually we let this next one go through, and now I'm going to swap um, into Sableye because I don't want them um, to get off another charge move. So I swap into Sableye, they have to throw their energy, otherwise I'll get take them out with Foul Play and Shadow Claw, so they do throw their energy. Bastiodon now can come in and do one Smackdown, and that is going to be a good game, very well played. All right. Yeah, this team's got a lot of play. It's so strong, everyone. Absolutely ridiculously strong. Okay, moving into this next battle. We have Bastiodon on the lead versus Stunfisk. Another lead loss. We go straight into Sableye right here. Start getting ahead on energy. They're going to go ahead and swap out into Skarmory. We saw this before, everyone. Um, people are so fearful of a Skarmory into Bastiodon that they bring it into a Sableye. And the more energy a Sableye has, the more powerful it can flip these matchups. It's absolutely ridiculous. So we're going to go ahead and shield ourselves. We're going for that hard switch advantage again. Um, and we're going to be able to do that with Shadow Claw and Foul Play right here. So we're going to go ahead and build up to another Foul Play. This is not going to be enough damage to take out Skarmory. Um, but we'll have to see if they decide to shield right here. So Foul Play comes through. Lands. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and throw another one right away. I want to get that final shield or just save quite a bit of health here on the Sableye. So we do get the final shield. Perfect. I can now commit to the farm down and take that switch advantage. Have energy on Sableye. This is why you cannot bring a Skarmory into a Sableye. You are not going to win that switch advantage back. But they do decide to swap out into Charm Alolan Ninetales, which is basically game over. Bastiodon hard walls this thing like no other. Weather Ball just does nothing, everyone. And that will be a good game. Very well played. We're going to see some lead wins here soon, don't you worry. <laughs> we have Bastiodon on the lead versus Machamp. Another lead loss, everyone. What do we do? We go into Sableye. Sableye getting ahead on energy now. They're staying in quite a bit. I'm like, okay, they're throwing a charge move that was too quick for payback, but it might be Rock Slide. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go, but it is going to be a cross chop, which is perfect. Now they're still staying in, and they bring in another Skarmory. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go for foul plays. Now, we are slow enough here where air slashes might be able to take us out. So what I might need to do is look to get energy advantage on Bastiodon to throw a flamethrower. As you guys can see, these air slashes are adding up. But I want to get this um, Skarmory lower um, and definitely apply a lot of pressure to shields with foul play, which is why I'm going to try my best to build up to two. Um, we're going to go ahead and go for this next foul play. This should get a shield from the opponent. Otherwise, we're getting switch. We do get a shield, and hopefully we can get to another one. No, we cannot. Now, 
This is actually perfect. Skarmory is low enough right here where we can farm down with Smackdown and have a flamethrower ready to go for the Machamp. And if they decide to swap like the Alolan Ninetales did last game, we have Metachamp for Machamp. So we'll have to see what they decide to do. They do decide to swap, so I'm going to go ahead and go for this flamethrower right here. Look to get that shield. I was close enough where a couple counters didn't hurt too bad, and we should be getting a shield, which we do. And now we can go into the Metacham right here. They did decide to throw their energy way too quick. This is not going to be payback, which is the movie you have to look out for cross chop and rock slide are resisted because of our psychic fighting typing so we're going to go ahead and overcharge a bit and again they're throwing their energy i decided to shield on this one i wasn't counting successfully i shouldn't have right there at all there's no need to shield but i can just fully counter it down skarmory does have almost i think it does have a sky attack so i'm gonna have to throw ice punch right away if it does decide to come in and it is going to be the Skarmory, so I have to throw this, sky, or this uh, Ice Punch right away. Again, we don't want to get hit with that Sky Attack. This is going to take out the Skarmory. And the final Pokemon is going to be a Diggersby. So this is definitely still a dangerous matchup. We're going to have to throw Ice Punch first. It does super effective damage, um, but it doesn't do too much. So what we're going to need to do is actually go for a Psychic. And they decided to go for Fire Punch here. If they committed to that Earthquake, this might have been different. And I would have had to have gone um, for an Ice Punch right here. But we do get to the Psychic in time and that is going to be a good battle very well played to my opponent again it's very tough to bring in Skarmory to Sableye yes we were lower but what you saw there is we were able to come in with Bastiodon and get a lot of energy to force that final shield moving into this next battle we'll see I think we have some more lead losses we have Bastiodon the lead versus Lantern okay another lead loss right here this is going to be a spark one which means its energy gain is a lot better than water gun but they decide to bring in Obstagoon so this is already not looking good return does so much better in this matchup than power gem right here um, even though it has access to counter the Obstagoon it still takes neutral from power gem right because it's a dark normal typing um, whereas if it was a fighter it'd take resisted damage all right, so charge me now coming through. It's going to be Night Slash. It's going to hurt, but hopefully I can get to another Power Gem in time, but they decide to throw the energy. That's fine. So what we're going to need to do is come in with Metacham and load up on energy. That is our goal right now, is to have a lot of energy on Metacham and hope it can sweep this game, but we'll have to see. They probably have a Metacham counter in the back or a fighting counter in the back, which is definitely going to be dangerous. So we can farm down. Lantern's probably not going to be coming in. We'll have to see what it's going to be. It's going to be a Hypno, which definitely is a counter. So what we're going to try to do is go for an Ice Punch right here. I want to have some loaded energy. Psychic only does, um, Confusion from Hypno only does neutral because we're Psychic fighting. And I'm going to go ahead and swap into Basio now, now, hoping to catch a charge move, but they bring back in the Lantern. So this Lantern matchup right here, this is definitely dangerous. Both Th Thunderbolt does neutral because we're not we're steel rock, but Hydro Pump is super effective and we do catch the Hydro Pump with a shield, which is beautiful. Now we're gonna go ahead and go for Stone Edges here. This is gonna do neutral damage. And what I need to do is stall. I need to absolutely stall this matchup and look to bring Metacham back in because Bastiodon is my win condition now um, against this team. So what we're gonna hopefully do is shield this next charge move. Again, it's my win condition. I cannot get hit with a Hydro Pump, which it is gonna be a Hydro Pump again which is actually perfect. We're going to go ahead and build up some more energy. We're going to go for this Stone Edge right here. And then we're going to need to swap into Metacham um, because we need to start getting ahead on energy. We got the final shield and they do decide to swap out into Hypno and we need to go for Ice Punch right here. Now, this is very, very tricky. I have a decision to make. If they don't have Shadow Ball, I might be able to win Switch and try to get a charge move off on the Lantern. If they do have Shadow Ball, I don't want to be doing too much damage with Ice Punch, right? We've already done way too much. I needed that energy on my Bastiodon, so that was a mistake right there. I actually shouldn't have thrown any more charge moves. I should have just stood there and let them hit me because I'm doing way too much damage. My Bastiodon needs to have a Stone Edge in order to take out the Lantern, so Thunder Punch will not take us out. We take out the Hypno, and they did what I wanted to do, which was get energy on our final Pokemon, which is the win condition right here. So now it's going to be a race to the charge move, and they do have it. But is it going to be enough to take us out? We'll have to see. Hydro, Hydro Pump lands. It's not enough to take us out. And Smackdown one fast move away right there. And that is going to be a good battle. Very well played to my opponent. Moving into this next battle, we have Basudon on the lead versus Skarmory. All right, lead win. Let's see what happens here. We are going to see a swap out into a Mew and we have a Sableye. 
A lot of people use Psychic as safe swap. Defense Form, Deoxys, Mew, and Hypno. This is where Sableye can come in and Metacham. They safe swap that as well. This is where Sableye can come in and absolutely destroy right here. So Foul Plays will be doing super effective damage. So they will have to start shielding. So we'll have to see what they decide to do. They decided to let it go. That is unfortunate. We'll have to see what the final Pokemon is going to be. We'll likely see the Skarmory come back in. But we still have our Metacham, right? So Skarmory is going to come back in. It doesn't matter how much energy they farm up right here. It's not going to go anywhere because I'll be catching it on the Bastiodon. So Foul Plays, um, again, you want to go for this. Against Skarmory, it does neutral damage and it stabs. Same type attack bonus because Sableye is a dark ghost Pokemon um, where it wouldn't be doing stab with Power Gem, even though that's neutral as well because of the flying steel typing there on the Skarmory. So we go ahead and take out the Skarmory as well. And the final Pokemon is going to be a Galarian Stunfisk and Metacham can counter that. And that is going to be a good battle. All right, Bastion versus Bastion Mirror right here. When it comes to Bastion on backlines, there's a lot of common things. Um, double Flyers, Double Fighters, Double Grass. That's very, very typical. And Metacham and Sableye with Energy Advantage and Shield Advantage do very, very well against those. Because of Ice Punch on Metacham, Sableye with Energy is just deadly against the meta. So what we're going to do is just look to soft lose this lead. I'm okay with Bastion going down, even if they have Tropius Pelipper in the back. Um, I have a Sableye and I have a Metacham with Ice Punch and I want Shield Advantage. But they're going to decide to switch um, here in a second. They decide to switch to Azumarill. And I just want you guys to understand that you still have to respect the damage Bastion can do to an Azumarill right here. So Stone Edge does neutral. And if they don't have Ice Beam, or they, if they don't have Hydro Pump, which I'm banking on, because they had a Bastion on lead, they need um, Play Rough and Ice Beam for the Grass and the Fighters. Look at this. Azumarill's almost dead. And they're going to go ahead and throw a charge move right here. This has to be Hydro Pump or it's not gonna do anything, and it's gonna be an Ice Beam, which means it doesn't take us out, which means we're gonna be able to farm down this Azumarill right here, so they're gonna have to throw their energy, and that is perfectly fine. We know there's a Bastion in the back, and we know they probably have something that is an anti-fighter in the back, so we're gonna go ahead and bring in Metacham to get that energy. That Ice Punch is gonna be really helpful, potentially, and it's gonna be a Shadow Victory Bell, which is perfect. We're gonna go ahead and throw this Ice Punch right here. This does super effective damage. They have to respect it. There's two shields, so they will be shielded right here and we're gonna go ahead and swap into that Sableye start getting ahead on energy and draw out the Bastiodon now Sableye will lose to Bastiodon and that's kind of the point I want Metacham to come in here and farm this Bastiodon down for a lot of energy so hopefully they just commit to the farm down I do decide to throw a foul play right here in hindsight, maybe I should just let the Sableye go down and come in um, with the Metacham, but Sableye just doesn't care, and I do sneak through an extra Shadow Claw right there. So I am going to shield, because that Shadow Claw went through on their charge move, the Bastiodon will go down, and I have a Foul Play ready to go, which means it's going to get the final shield here from the Shadow Victory Bell, and then Metacham can come in and do an Ice Punch. So this Foul Play is going to be coming through. We will get the final shield, and then I'll switch to Metacham. Um, or the Sableye goes down, we'll bring in the Metacham right here and go for the Ice Punch, and that is going to be a good battle, very well played. All we need to do is shield this Charge move, probably going to be a Leaf Blade, which would KO us, um, and then this Ice Punch will be taking out the Shadow of Victory Bell, and that will be a good battle. So, this team, I'm telling you guys, is so strong. <laughs> it's just so dang strong. It's so dang strong. Even if you neutral leads, lead wins, lead losses, it has a lot of play, and it does better with you with an XL Bastiodon, XL Metacham. All right, so Obama Snow on the lead. This is a lead win right here. Obama Snow really can't do too much damage to a Bastiodon, and our Smackdowns are doing super effective damage, right? Energy Ball is going to do neutral because of the Rock Steel typing. Rock takes super effective. Steel resists grass. So they are going to throw that Energy Ball for neutral, but it doesn't do too much, everyone. We're winning with just fast moves alone. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this Flamethrower right here. I'm guessing they're just going to sack this Obama Snow and look to close with whatever they have, which might be a Zoomeral, but it's actually going to be a Swamper. So I'm going to go ahead and swap straight into Sableye and we do see an Alolan Muck come in. Now, when it comes to Alolan Mucks, this one's running with Poison Jab. Um, and I can understand the play because that'll do well against Azumarill with Poison Jab, right? But typically you want to be running it with Snarl because its charge moves are so deadly. Dark Pulse, Sludge Wave, um, that I actually don't need to shield right here because my win condition now, I'm sure you guys can see it, is going to be Bastiodon coming in, hard farming, and then Metacham closing. 
So what we're going to do is go ahead and throw foul play. We landed that play, uh, the power gem, so this will likely be getting a shield from our opponent, which it does. Um, so now our win condition is definitely there. But this Alolan Muck decides to throw another charge move, which is fine with me. Bastiodon is just going to come in. I'll swap to Metacham. That's going to be a good game. But going back to the Alolan Muck, um, Snarl, like I said, is such a good fast move for energy gain with Dark Pulse and Sludge Wave. Um, that's definitely more ideal than Poison Jab, especially when we see like a Galarian Stunfisk in the meta and stuff like that. Um, you definitely want to have that Snarl. So charge move now coming through. We're just going to go ahead and shield, double shield right here, and we can just go for double ice punch, and that will be a good battle. Um, yeah, yeah, that's going to be a good game. <laughs> this team, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm making a video on it. It's just it's so dang strong. Um, it feels like it's broken, kind of, and and I don't even have XL Metacham, XL Sableye, or XL Bastiodon, and I'm sure it's even deadlier with that. Um, so if you guys are still hanging out right now in this video, let me know what you guys think about this team. Um, you guys could run Galarian Stunfisk instead of Bastion on there on the lead, um, but you'll have different matchups and different losses um, and whatnot, but it's an extremely strong team. We have Bastion on, on the lead versus Azumarill. Okay, same thing as before. We're going to swap straight into that Sableye, start getting ahead on energy. Um, and again, they're staying in. Why would an Azumarill bail out, right? Especially if they have a counter in the back um, to a Bastion. Maybe they have a fighter or something, but Azumar um the power gem right there does neutral, and again, we're going to be shielding ourselves, and we can potentially get switch advantage here um, as well. So Ice Beam comes through. Now, they don't, they may not have play rough now, considering that they threw an Ice Beam, so i got to be careful um, to basically not get hit with another play rough if they do have it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this foul play right here to get that shield, which is great, and then we're going to try to throw another one um, after they throw this charge move. So... We are now in a good position right here. Um, they do have Hydro Pump, which is perfect. They definitely expended all of their energy now, and they decide to swap into Scrafty, which is now going to seal their fate with here with Medicham. Um, but the thing is with Scrafty, Foul Play still does neutral because we are Psychic Fighting Typing. So if they go for two Foul Plays, they can actually take us out potentially. Um, so we're going to have to go for an Ice Punch right here, do some chip damage, and then Sableye is going to have to come in and take out um, the uh, Scrafty right here um, because I think it is going to be able to get to another Foul play which it is so all energy gone here on scrafty um, so it's going to be very dangerous to come in with sableye i could come in with bastudon but i think i'll take too much damage so i want to come in with sableye and just risk that in a no shield situation um, considering that they won't be able to get to foul play and sure enough shadow claws are definitely doing enough damage so if they bring back an azumarill which they do i have two foul plays ready to go if this gets a shield from them that means they have something in the back it might be a metacham um, but they let it go, and the final Pokemon is going to be a Hypno, which is perfectly fine. We can go for two foul plays now, and we still have Bastion on in the back. There's really nothing this Hypno can do. But as we saw there, um, they could have brought in Scrafty um, into the Sableye. That might have been a, definitely a better call, and this is where Return would have done so much better against Scrafty. But they had a counter with Scrafty in the back to Bastiodon, so they stayed in with Azumarill, which definitely helps us out endgame. Um, so we do land that, swap into Bastiodon, and that will be a good battle, very well played. Um, I think they might have turned off their game right there. Um, good game to my opponent, though. Good game. We're just using a very, very strong team. So that was all the battles. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this team and these battles. It is it is silly strong like this there's nothing spicy about this team everyone we are at the tail end of the second week and this team is just it stonks okay it's super stonks so um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and like always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one